Kiki had some predisposition before he came and so had Wamunyinyi. Relax. Relax. We are guided only by what is important for this nation. We cannot afford to lose this election. We can. Kituona sisi tuko hapa. Do kwamba tumekubali that those who we can do business with are here. The enemy is known. The enemy is defined. The enemy is not in this room. So shida ni wapi? Right, that was on, I believe it was on Saturday. Yes, some events at uh, the KICC Jubilee uh, party NDC attended by all these political leaders uh, saying that they are going to work together. But what also, what also had happened, I think it was the day before, there are some political parties that held a signing session with the Jubilee party. They are signing what they are calling a cooperation agreement. We'll be listening to what they said at uh, that event. But I'm just wondering, Senator um, Mutula, now, you, on this side, you have one Kenya alliance saying that they are going to form into a coalition. Mm -hmm. Then they want to join Azimio or join hands with Azimio to form Azimio One Kenya Alliance. What is the law? Can you really form a coalition, then form a coalition political party? Or you have to join as an individual political party? It's, it's, good, it's good you've asked that question because anybody who uh, has been... Uh, making the notion that uh, we are joining as Mio is, is has not read the law because the reason the reason we 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 passed this political parties act the current one was as Mio was going to be formed into uh, become a political party now the, the structures of how that you become a political party are also defined in the law mm -hmm. and it also says in, in clause 9 that you cannot become a member of not more than one political party. So if Azimio becomes a political party, for us to join, we must then disband one Kenya alliance as a political party. Yet we have stated clearly, mm -hmm. and I've said this before, and uh, uh, my SG uh, uh, ODM has, 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 has thought that we were just being cocky. The fact is that one, Azimio will become a is not a political party as we speak. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Mm -hmm as defined by this law, and neither is one Kenya alliance. So I, I, I believe that what my party leader was saying in not so many words is that when Azimio becomes a political party and one Kenya alliance becomes a political party, you are allowed to form coalition of political parties. That, that is allowed under the current law, both the old and the, <coughs> and the new law. But Azimio is not a political party yet, so anybody telling you you are joining Azimio is, is not correct. Because it has, same with Kenya Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. They are just calling themselves Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, but it's not a coalition party. Mm -hmm. They are still the UDA, ANC, and Ford Kenya, and they have not actually, in, in law we said the marriage has not been consummated. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are still waiting for them to consummate that marriage and become a coalition party mm -hmm. for purposes of one Kenya, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. So when Azimio then becomes a political party is when you can talk. No, right now we are not talking. So, so right now, because we are told that um, there are certain instruments you are supposed to, depo to sign and deposit to the registrar yesterday yes. that was postponed. I don't know whether it will happen tomorrow <coughs> or it's later in it the will, week. Uh, it's because there, there's a possibility of having another person joining One Kenya Alliance or another political mm -hmm. formation. Ch Ch Chama Chakazi. Chama Chakazi and others. A and so when you register eventually, if you will, mm -hmm. um, so what will One Kenya Alliance be? A polit coalition political party under this law. So that's what I'm asking. Can a coalition political party join another coalition political party? Not join. Form a coalition. Okay. <laughs> you can form a coalition between political formations. It's the same thing as having a coalition party. What you're simply doing is undoing what Jubilee did, where they, they uh, all <coughs> disbanded their political parties and formed one political party. And then the opposite of what NASA did, you were in a formation where everybody was still... Um, clearly identified as a distinct political party. In this one, you once you join a formation, as you, as you mean Jubilee, and I, that's the reason Jubilee has decided to stay on its own. Mm -hmm. Because after passing this law, they then realize that for them to become part of Azmio, they must be subsumed into a political party. Your identity must disappear into that political party. So now Jubilee is saying, we will form a coalition with Azmio. And that is what everybody is saying. But nobody realized this uh, when they were passing this law. 
that you you must first of all become an identified political party before anybody anybody can join you and you must deposit the instruments of that coalition political party it must be approved it must have its instruments it must have its uh, leadership defined mm -hmm. you must have its leaders defined the same way any other political party is governed under the political parties act you, 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 you're, you're confusing me senator okay. yeah. let me clarify for you sam let me clarify it for you. The reason why this political party's amendment bill was passed was for sinister personal motives of the power brokers in this country. And I'll tell you how they planned it. One is that Jubilee, really when I say Jubilee, I mean Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta wants to serve a third term through a proxy called Raila Odinga. And in order to make Raila Odinga win votes from Central Kenya, which he promised to deliver to Raila Odinga, is he cannot sell ODM in Mount Kenya. So what he did is if he can sell this idea of Azimio, which is a corporate party, which Jubilee is there, then he can tell the people of Central, actually, I want you to vote for Raila, but remember on the ticket, we have a Jubilee member. You're not really voting ODM, you're voting the running mate who is from Jubilee and who's from Central Kenya. That was his long-winded plan which will fail mm -hmm. to win central Kenya and deliver to Raila as he promised. Also, if you look at it, uh, and if uh, ODM is paying attention, you will see that Jubilee has taken all these small political parties, including one that doesn't, uh, the one for Jirongo that doesn't even have uh, a single member of parliament or MCA. The is, well, is with one Kenya alliance. Sorry? UDP is with One Kenya Alliance, Jerongo's party. The, the, no, um, but, but you know what he's trying to do is get all the political parties. That's why he has Matiangi have a party, uh, Munya has a party, uh, Eugene have a party. He's got all sorts, all these NDCs that are being funded by government. How do you know that? I know that, and you can ask me. We can have a whole show on that one. But he said that on air. You can have, you we, should... yes, I can say it on air, and if they think I'm wrong, they can ask me. Uh, they can take me on on it on another day. But let me finish my point. Mm -hmm. And the reason why Jubilee, what Jubilee wants to do is in this Azimio alliance, they want to be able to have so many little political parties that are with Jubilee, are in coalition with Jubilee, take them on to the Azimio platform, and under Azimio, then they will actually have more numbers of parties than ODM. So actually, they want to be the big brother in that Azimio uh, movement. And if ODM is paying attention, they should realize that that is all that this political party's bill that was being forced. They were told it, is, it was being forced upon us. They were told that it's good for them and it's going to help them with their, their political strategy. But at the end of the day, the only person who is the winner on this is Uhuru Kenyatta and the Jubilee because he will be the one, he's going to be the one who picks the running mate. He has already picked the presidential candidate himself and endorsed and pushed and funded. And then has he's going to pick the cabinet. I can assure you that. Support. Because <coughs> I, I thought I saw the ODM NDC pick the candidate, the candidate Ray Lodinga. Yes, but there was the Jubilee NDC on the same day. The Jubilee MD NDC was all about endorsing Raila Odinga and decampaigning William Ruto, or gossiping about William Ruto, <laughs> if I put it. Because really, it was not decampaigning. It was a gossip column <laughs> they were running. Mm, so. Instead of discussing, because usually you'd expect um, uh, an NDC is something serious. I always say it's a quasi-legal process mm -hmm. when you actually go to an NDC. So even if you wanted to remove the, party, the deputy party leader from Jubilee, then the announcement would be that William Ruto, okay. deputy party leader, has contravened the following uh, sections of our constitution of Jubilee, has done this and that, and therefore that reason there was a meeting of the National Executive Committee and made a decision that he must be expelled from the party. That is the way you put it. Okay. But you don't say, Alifanya, Akafanya, you know that's the discussion. No. Okay. Okay. You're supposed um, to say it in a legal boss, Let's listen manner. to what the president said, because you said a few things there, including gossiping. Um, the NDC for UDA should be March 15th? On the 15th. All right, we'll, we'll see what transpires on that date. And you will see that's going to be organized and... Uh, uh, all right, uh, Honorable Boss, let's listen to the President on what he said about um, Azimio formation. Sini namna hiyo, lakini kutoka leo, umeona mimi ni mevaa yangu ya Azimio. Mimi ni mwana jubili, lakini kutoka leo, kwa fikira, kwa mdomo, 
kwa damu, kwa roho. Sili namna hiyo. Na mimi sina shaka ya kwamba ushindi ni wetu. Sawa sawa. Twende kazi, tuhubiri amani, amani, tuhubiri umoja, tutembee pamoja. Mungu awabariki, awalinde na alinde Kenya yetu. Asante. Yes, um, as just I'm, I'm getting to that, but let's listen to what had transpired the day before when certain political parties side, signed a cooperation agreement with Jubilee so that as just can tell us what that means in the grand scheme of things when it, when it comes to Azimio Laumoja. They have found it uh, fit to collaborate with Jubilee Party uh, and also to have His Excellency uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta to be the focal point of their discussions within the bigger umbrella uh, alliance, which is Azimio. So what we have here is a cooperation agreement to give way for negotiations. But the main agreement, the terms of the pre-election agreement, will be negotiated and agreed upon. There's some issues that PA is bringing on the national table. The land question, the state of the economy, more particularly the cost economy, and the inclusivity of the coastal person in the government that will be formed after to present one presidential candidate whose name you know, Raila Molo Odinga. So, SG, um, one Carlos Mosioka describes as Melo Moja as three legged stool, or is it legged? Uh, we have on one side Jubilee Party and its uh, partners, you have ODM and then on Kenya Alliance. And Honorable uh, Senator Mutula here says that um, these are coalition political parties coming together to form a coalition. Is that the position? Or, or, or is it Azimio One Kenya Alliance that was supposed to be the coalition political party? Yeah, actually, of course, I take a very different view from uh, uh, what uh, Mutula uh, has just said, because we as ODM anticipated that uh, Azimio was going to be a coalition. And uh, that, in fact, uh, the individual political parties were never going to lose their identity in that coalition. Uh, but that there were certain things that were going to be possible with the new law mm -hmm. that in fact as opposed to 2013 and 2017 where Raila ran as uh, an ODM candidate and uh, the deputy was on wiper, we could actually present a presidential candidate under Azimio and uh, allow the other political parties to be able to uh, field their candidates. I can assure you that uh, even Mutula himself, uh, given his uh, time and emotional investment in wiper, I am sure he wants to be uh, an, a wiper governor in McQueen. Sifuna wants to be an ODM senator in Nairobi. And the other political parties, even the ones that have joined Azimio, including DAP, mm -hmm. have expressed the same, that in fact they would want to retain their identity. So from our side, our anticipation is that this is going to be a coalition. And uh, the law that was passed such that uh, for you to be uh, you know, a member of uh, a coalition, you cannot be a member of another coalition. So you cannot <coughs> come as a coalition to enter into another coalition. You know. And in fact, uh, if, you, if he's saying that, uh, 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 that uh, uh, you know, uh, this Azimio is supposed to be a, a three-legged stool, we are going to run into the same problems that we had in NASA. We have encouraged our brothers mm -hmm. that, in fact, it is okay to have a discussion about equity, mm -hmm. but you cannot claim equality because these political parties are not the same. Political parties are not the document, the registration document, saying, oh, my party is PA. Yes, it's a political party. It's a legal entity. But the strength of a political party is in its membership and followership. So there is no way, for instance, uh, ANC can claim to be the same as UDA. It is just a fact. But you can say that we appreciate the contribution that you bring on the table, even if it's two votes, because the election is one, 50 plus one. So you can say, for those two votes, Sifuna, what is my share? Mm -hmm. But you can't come and say that it is, uh, 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 we are all equal. Then there's another problem. When you say that uh, the three-legged stool is ODM, Jubilee, and then there's one Kenya alliance, 
where do you place our other friends? For instance, uh, uh, the, the Chap Chap movement, which is led by Governor Mutua. He's also a member, even with his 10 votes, even with his 100 votes, he's supposed to also feel like he's included there. Where do you leave Mama Charity Ngil? Where do you leave Professor Kifuda Kibwana? Where do you leave DAP? You know? So in this coalition, we don't want to have the same problems that we, have, we had in NASA. That in fact, we can acknowledge that we are not born the same. We are not the same size. Even if you were to bring the register of members of UDA or ODM, there is a difference because these political parties have existed in different times and there are some more than others who have had opportunity to build their, mm -hmm. their bases. Now, so number two, uh, uh, what uh, Gladys is talking about, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's propaganda we've had uh, often that in fact uh, Raila Odinga is supposed to be Uhuru's proxy. I think uh, it, 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 it goes against everything that we know about Raila Odinga in history uh, for anyone to claim that he can be Uhuru Kenyatta's project. This is a people's project that was started way back in 1997 before some of us became even eligible to vote. We joined in in 2007 when he ran for president and we can see that there's now an opportunity for us to be able to complete this project. Uh, and you see, uh, the president doesn't need to sell ODM in, uh, in Central at all. He only needs to sell the vision of these two leaders that in fact we have to bring our people together and that unity mm -hmm. and, uh, and peace is the basis of all development. She says that uh, the president has all these small political parties coalescing around uh, him uh, to essentially uh, come and negotiate with us. But they are doing the same thing. Uh, there was a time when uh, Ruto was telling us that he cannot uh, countenance village political parties. And then he went for the two best examples of village political parties, and they are now hanging around him. You know, So it is the same thing that is happening on their side. People are bringing in numbers and trying to coalesce around ideas. And uh, when it, uh, she talks about uh, uh, the president, it is the president's personal opinion who he chooses to support. His political party has endorsed him to remain the political leader of that political party. So even he has a voice. It is a personal decision. He says he's going to support uh, uh, Raila Odinga. He has, he has that right to be able to say mm -hmm. that. Uh, lastly, this uh, question of uh, the NDCs, uh, I happen to have uh, uh, conducted my NDC uh, this Saturday. The NDC, yes, is a quasi-legal process, and it is uh, split into two parts, at least from our side, where the business of the day of the NDC, the legal, uh, you know, the things that the NDC is mandated under the Constitution to do, was executed in one half of that NDC. Mm -hmm. Then we had another session, which was now the Jamboree. And you, being a media practitioner, you know you're not going to have live coverage of the nitty-gritty of all. We are uh, replacing the organizing secretary of the party, which we also did, but you don't see coverage there. You came for the political section <laughs> of the jamboree and this is allowed mm -hmm. so we would like uh, for there to be uh, honest conversation even with our our new partners who, are, who want to join us that in fact it is okay for us to discuss equity that yes we recognize you have a contribution but don't overstate your contribution so, and so you still have an answer to my question like yes. what is the what is the arrangement because jubilee is signing cooperation agreements with a section of parties yes um WIPA and its partners within on kenya alliance i think then I think, all these others so how i think to be honest and you know i am not known for sugar coating people mm -hmm. are looking for what they say is a guarantor for whatever agreements will be arrived at in that coalition. And there are people who feel that it's safer if they are negotiating under the umbrella of, of the president. So they are, they are seeking, you see, like a party like uh, PAA. PAA is essentially a, a sub-branch of ODM because it was founded in Kilifi by a governor who was elected on ODM at mm -hmm. two uh, successive elections, right? Mm -hmm. And he even attempted at some point to insinuate that they wanted to form a coalition or enter into some agreement with ODM. And I was like, how do you sign a coalition agreement between your right hand and your index finger? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so what happened is they have to find another way to put themselves in a place where they can negotiate with us because for us it is just out of the question for you to be a splinter group of ODM and then come and want to... So will Azimio be a coalition political party or just a coalition? The Azimio is going to be a coalition. Because we as ODM are very clear, we're not going to lose our identity, and the other political parties have said so, so as it well. Won't be a coalition so we want uh, Raila Odinga can run as the Azimio candidate, but Edwin Sifuna is going to be the ODM senator for Nairobi. You see, this, that's exactly. But, but some, can some. you can you really can the, can can Raila Odinga run as an Azimio candidate if it's not a coalition political party? He can. How? He can. How? Yeah. So. 
He can't. Yeah, how? You know, let me tell you. Uh -huh. that, that is the reason uh, I had such reservations about this political party's bill because the persons who drafted this law most likely misled both Raila Amol Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta because what he is saying is not here. And I had it somewhere that oh, this, this law will give you the benefit of having uh, in the presidential ballot as opposed to having ODM where Raila Odinga has chungwa and Sage Bili where you have the, now the dove, you have one symbol for uh, Azmio. It's not a fact. It's not here. And exactly what he's saying is what Jubilee is worried about. But this law, the purpose of this law, the amendment was to include something we call a coalition of pol coalition political party. Mm -hmm. Because the definition of a political party is already in the law. And that coalition party means a coalition that is registered by the Registrar of Political Party. That is what Azmio was supposed to be. But after we passed this law in a hurry and nobody wanted to read the details, because <laughs> I, I, I bother to ask even part of the leadership in the Senate, why not call it coalition of political parties? Because what he's talking about, uh, Sivuna here, the good lawyer, is a coalition of political parties. But this law talks about coalition political party. It's not the same thing. And that is the reason when somebody says, is Wiper joining Azmio? I'm saying, what are you talking about? Are you walking in the dark? We don't know what Azmio is because it's, it's not defined. They don't know what Azmio is. They, mm -hmm. it's, it's, they want Azmio and they want uh, uh, ODM at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's a proverbial hyena that walked two parts. You want this and you want the other. You can't have both. But what Gladys Bozhile is saying is correct. That the primary intention, which was not captured in this law, was to have an outfit, an amorphous outfit that goes to central Kenya and says, oh, you know, we are, we are in this boat. We are, we are in Jubilee, the Red Devils. Are they calling themselves the Red Devils? Red, Red Devils. Oh, Red Devils. <laughs> But their symbol is a dove. The Red Army. <laughs> okay, the Red Army. I, 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 I confuse. The Red Army in a, a very amorphous boat and say, this is, not, this is not ODM. And then you have, and there's something else Sifuna is not telling you. Mm -hmm. It introduces that yet another concept of direct and indirect nominations. Now, how do you do the direct and indirect nominations in this law when you have Azmio as an amorphous entity and you have him as an ODM candidate? That's what I'm saying. This is, this is, yeah. And so, so if one Kenya lens goes ahead to form a coalition political party... As contemplated here. Can they, in law, join as a meal? No. That's what I'm simply saying. You can't have it. This law says clearly you can't do that. A and if the intention So if you deposit a coalition agreement under this law, uh -huh. which ideally is what as is supposed to be, all those DAPs, which DAP is actually an offshoot, is like a, a, an offshoot of a bad of ODM. <laughs> so ODM has so many small little things uh, all over the place. Once you deposit a coalition agreement, you become a coalition political party. No, unless you express it so. No, because, no, no, no. Because if, if, if we have not done away with allow him to finish. If, if, say, Jubilee and all these other small entities, mm -hmm. together with ODM, sign a coalition agreement, they come, become a coalition political party in this arrangement. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Once you do that, you can then join another political coalition. That's what I'm simply saying. So, so what will One Kenya Alliance be doing? One Kenya Alliance will deposit a coalition agreement under this law. That's why where everybody, when, when you ask... Once you do that, then it means you're not going to you, join. You, you, cannot become, you cannot become an Azmio we, we are now We are now in agreement. Yeah. Uh, save for one thing, uh, Moshimua Mutula Kilonzo. Mm -hmm. uh, this new law did not proscribe the old uh, coalition. No, it coalitions. didn't. Just it added. Did not. No. That's what I'm saying. The additional option of becoming a coalition yes. political party is an option. It is not that it ousted but the, it was, it the previous was the coalition. the intention of this yeah? law. So, the intention of this law. Our intention... Confirm. Our intention. J just hold on. Just confirm. Yeah, the intention the was intention to provide that of option. This, this law was to make an Zimio. No, it was not to make Azimio. It was not made with Azimio in mind. What, you see, what, what, why, 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 you, okay, okay. why were people fighting in parliament? Not to, S why S were S these people punching one another? Let, 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 I, I need to hear from Gladys' voice. But there's a question he has raised, yes. which I would wish to hear your answer. Yes. 
Did you intend to have Azimio as a coalition political party or as a coalition? Listen, uh, Sam, don't fall into his trap. This no. law was not passed because of Azimio. <laughs> it was. It was it passed. Was. It was. Okay, okay. Can, right. Can can I, let's can, rephrase oh, yeah. the question. Yeah, rephrase the question. Yes. <laughs> Is Azimio intended to be a coalition political party or a coalition? As I understand it, it's supposed to be a coalition. So why pass the law? Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Thank you, sir. It, it is. <laughs> If that happens, then yes. how will you have an Azimio presidential candidate yes. who does not belong to a political party called Azimio because it's not a coalition? That's what I'm saying. The coalition can run candidates. The coalition can run oh. candidates. It's a coalition. Last time we had coalition candidates. But you didn't have an ASA presidential candidate. You had but a that's what I'm saying. Candidate. This time around, you can be able to fill the candidate as a coalition. If it's registered as a coalition political yes, party. Yes, as long as you have deposited the agreement with the registrar. But Azimia won't be registered as a coalition as a political, political party. party. So he's confirmed that it was for Azimia. Let, 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 me, tell you, let me tell you this. Uh, uh -huh. You know, this, this is the propaganda that is coming that, in fact, this law was passed to help Azimia. <laughs> you do not legislate mm -hmm. with any single person or organization in mind. It was done. This is something that political parties have struggled with, including in 2013, mm -hmm. when we had these problems uh, of uh, joint nominations yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and I, tickets I, I, of... Uh, I know you're struggling of, with. Of okay. Okay. No, okay. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. Senator Mutula, <laughs> Senator Mutula and SG, allow me to listen to Honorable Boss here. <laughs> what is the thinking within Kenya Kwanzaa? Because you haven't heard of any plans to form a coalition or coalition political party. Yeah. In the end, how will that work out? Like I said, that no decisions have been made on that, and when the right time comes, we will, the, the, the agreement will be made public and mm -hmm. will be deposited with the Register of Political Parties. But allow me to weigh in on what uh, my friends here have said. Mm -hmm. Yes, Junior is right. Mm. The, 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 uh, the Political Parties Amendment Bill was designed to help Azimio. And I can, it, I can tell you this for a fact, because during the time we were in Parliament, I spent a lot of time with the other members from the other political divide, trying to persuade them that mm -hmm. why don't we reach a consensus? Because mm -hmm. I said, what is in it? What, what, uh, what, what is it we want to achieve mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. What is the mischief we are trying to cure mm -hmm. so that we can now design the law and agree on it? We don't have to have a fight. Yeah. And all of them confirmed to me that we want to be able to sell as ODM through by saying there is something called Azimio, which can be acceptable to other parts of Kenya where ODM is not acceptable. So it was to sanitize Raila Odinga's candidacy in the mountain and other parts. And they, that is confirmed. There was also one other thing why, one other reason why uh, that amendment bill was passed. It was because while the president was trying to broker up uh, unity between Waipa, Budavadi, Wetangula, and Raila, mm -hmm. one of the things Kalonzo has, and he has said it publicly, has said is that he was conned by Raila Odinga. He has confirmed it. And the issue was they ran as a NASA coalition in 2013. No, as a code coalition in 2013, and then NASA in 2017. What happened is when the political party's fund mm. was disbursed, to ODM. Mm. ODM did not share the money with WIPA and the other political parties that had been their coalition with them. So they said, we do not want to back Raila again because he conned us last time. So they were assured that if we pass this law, it will legislate against Raila Odinga's conmanship. It will ensure that you will be paid the money. So it was supposed to, to give some comfort mm -hmm. to WIPA and ANC and Ford Kenya, so that they know that if we support him, we'll get the fund. And I think to date, it was confirmed by members of WIPA that uh, it was finally agreed they were supposed to be paid 70 million shillings. Mm -hmm. So far, I think only 30 million has been dispersed by ODM. And I think the Secretary General is here. And that was said by Senator Wambua on national television. He confirmed that even the 70 million that you finally agreed on that is owing, you have not been able to pay. So the law was supposed to give comfort to parties who are involved in, in a coalition. Yeah, so, so that's interesting. But uh, Senator Motula, is that true? Uh, because I also heard it, uh, Senator Wambua say that, that there are some resources that may have formed part of the difficulty in um, ha having this conversation with, between uh, Kalonzo Mosiok and Raila Odinga, yeah. if at all. Is it true that the resources, 70 million shillings, was never paid to you in full? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no, let me confirm uh, accurately what it is uh, that um, at the point at the point where Wiper was meeting to de determine the question of remaining in NASA, mm -hmm. uh, Moshmo Raila Odinga sent a confidential note to my party leader, and since I was sitting next to him, I'm the one who opened the letter and I read it. <laughs> now, uh, Moshmo Raila Odinga confirmed that the money that, that was last year, the mm -hmm. money that was due to Wiper was 87 million odd. You're speaking softly, I want to hear you. Oh, you want to hear me? <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry, I, I thought I was speaking to those people out there. No, I also have to hear. The, 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 the correct figure is 87 million odd mm -hmm. that uh, Moshmo Raila Odinga and I signature confirmed that is legitimately owed to Wiper. Uh, uh, as political parties found that has already been disbursed. <laughs> the money that the money that uh, Wiper has received is 25 million. 25 out of 87. Out of 87. And the balance. And that that is part of the the reason why we are not agreeing, because we we are telling them that out of good faith, if we are going to negotiate in good faith, you have admitted you owe us funds. Where are these? Put funds? it on the table. Put it on the table. And, and when, when I raised this issue uh -huh. with him, he told me, this gentleman, I raised with him in Makwene, he said, no, let's go before a priest, we will confess. And he, I told him, no, boss, we, we owe us money. Just go, <laughs> just go to your, yeah, don't tell me to go before a priest for a confession. I don't, I don't you know, you go and make the confession. But <laughs> and you the owe 80, 87 million shillings in a letter written by Raila Amolo Odinga under his signature on a confidential note, and I am the one who opened the letter. So I just asked this gentleman, confirm that you 87 million shillings is in the accounts of Wiper. If you do that, then uh, I'm home and dry. I'll be smiling with Sifuna. But you can't smile with him. Look at him. <laughs> Why haven't you paid all the amounts? You, you know, Sam, uh, this, this question I have addressed it so many times uh, over the past four years. You know, I, I actually, at this I, level. I, actually yeah. I actually get dreary. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, under the constitution of uh, ODM, and actually under the law, the accounting officer of ODM is the Secretary General. So please, uh, don't try and uh, bring this thing of oh, a confidential note by the party leader and so on and so forth. Because what, what, one of the what, things what, that... Are, are you no, just a minute. Are you denying just a minute. That let, let, just, just hold on, Senator. Speak. <laughs> let me speak. <laughs> one of the things that we at uh, ODM realized that, uh, first of all, Raila has uh, a generally good heart. He's a very good person. And if you find him on a good day when mm -hmm. he's just chilling, <laughs> you can extract concessions from him uh, because of his good nature. But we at the political party leadership, it is our responsibility to ensure that people do not take advantage of the goodness of Raila Odinga. So here's uh, what the truth is. Number one, we asked uh, uh, our brothers in NASA, mm -hmm. uh, because they were making all this noise that uh, we owed the money, to show us the legal basis for the claim of the money. And as we speak today, uh, uh, Sam, they have never been able to show us the legal basis why they were claiming this money from. And this is, a, uh, it, it is drawn from a simple fact. Number one, we have had these arguments only after the 2017 election. True or false? In the previous elections, we didn't have any problem with the, the question of money. No, no. Let me finish. 27. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. So in 2017, there's something peculiar that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the registrar is calculating the money that goes to the political parties, she takes cumulatively all the votes that have come to the political party from the presidential candidate all the way to the MCA candidates, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So our partners, because they contributed, they can argue that they contributed to the presidential vote, mm -hmm. they were entitled to a share of that amount that we received by virtue of the presidential election. Mm -hmm. In 2017, we go to the Supreme Court and the presidential election of August 8th, 9th is, is annulled. Mm -hmm. And the registrar tells us that there is no way, there is no legal basis for her to calculate the fund, including the votes of August 8th. So ODM does not receive any money by virtue of the votes that came through the presidential election, which they can claim that they contributed. Number two, they claim that, uh, so after that was settled, they climbed down and said, oh, but there is a clause that says you can look at the contribution of the political parties to the strength of the coalition in the House. Mm -hmm. So what is the strength of the coalition in the House? The strength of the coalition is the number of people who are elected on the coalition's uh, various political parties' tickets in the House. Mm -hmm. So when they get to that particular point, we ask them, but my brother, how is it that you can claim contribution to the strength of uh, 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 the coalition in the House 
when by virtue of your refusal to jo hold joint nominations, we actually lost seats. And the classic example is seats like Langata that we lost. Mm -hmm. When Sifuna ran for Senate in 2017, I had a wiper opponent who got 60,000 votes, which if they were with Sifuna, the calculation for the money that comes to ODM would actually be higher, and they would have a claim to it. So we were harangued for four years, and they spoiled our names in the media and everywhere until the party leader got to a place and said, let's give these people what they want. By the way, Sam, mm -hmm. the calculation they are talking about came from them. We only adjusted it now, and we said, okay, let's look at the contribution of each political party uh, to the strength of, uh, of the coalition in the House. And then it came down to which financial years are we talking about? Because what was the subsistence of the coalition in 2021, 20, uh, 2022? The coalition is dead. So we were talking about two financial years, 2017, 2018, and 2018, 2019. This money sum was received and utilized in those financial years. It's not that we have a silo of money where we keep so that when you come up with a claim, we just remove 80 million that we give you. We are also waiting for the exchequer to put us in funds. We can't just, there's no, it was used. So when we, we, we finished uh, the calculations, mm -hmm. let me show you because I have the documents here. And Mutula is afraid to go before a priest because he knows I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the, the the percentage share yes. of the political parties after we arrived at the figure that is received by virtue of the members of parliament of ODM. By the way, they don't add the money that uh, for, from the votes that Mutula received as a, a member of the coalition. No, it's just ODM MPs, right? Mm -hmm. So out of that money, 61% mm -hmm. goes to ODM, 18% mm -hmm. to Wiper, 11% mm -hmm. to Amani, and 9% to Ford, Ford Kenya. Mm -hmm. So. Those figures, wiper 18% is 25 million shillings. Mm. For which year? For the financial year 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. when they can uh, claim uh, that they were part of uh, the coalition. So that's what you paid? That was paid. So what you, I owe you is for the second year of 2020, 2021. And I have to wait for the exchequer to put me in funds. Is, because this money was expended. Is, 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 but but, but yeah, the, doc, yeah. the document so, that ODM shared earlier had a total of 70.4 million shillings owed to wipe. That's what I'm telling you. For uh -huh. the financial year 2018-2019, uh -huh. it is 25 million shillings. The rest is for the next year. I don't know if you understand. Because, anyway, I think because, because also, Sam, mm -hmm. the monies that were coming to ODM uh -huh. uh, from the political, register of political parties uh -huh. are not the same figure. Okay. You must understand that. Because after we went to court by the way, which they never helped us uh, do, mm -hmm. you know. We, we fought for this money on our own, and luckily, we started pressuring parliament, and parliament allocated some amount towards mm -hmm. settlement of that debt. Mm -hmm. So the figure for 2020-2021 that came to us from mm -hmm. the register of political parties is higher than the previous year. That is why you will have a higher amount for that particular financial year. So, so you haven't cleared whatever they are claiming because you don't yeah in, immediately we receive we disburse because the money was okay. not just there waiting for you wow let's listen to that's, what that's not what the registrar says but anyway m move on i just wanted him to make i i wish when he said he, he was telling me to go before a priest he would have confessed to this thing. no but you see then, then what, 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 what you say that he's not telling the truth what you say the, I, I said just what you know, said but, was that but, we have not paid but, you any allow me to say a, sg part, allow him to part, make part, his part of his point. original statements or oh, you know when raila is a good man when he's pushed he makes concessions that are not supposed to be concessions but yet he has talked about figures the correct figure is 87 million mm -hmm. they have not disbursed that money yet the money has been received and that's what he should be addressing and that is part of the reason but why when was it received he says he hasn't received it it's, 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 uh, it uh, that is the first financial year they're talking about another financial year which they're saying they have not received the money and yet they have received it because okay, the Sam, let me call wow. yeah. let um, me help let me help uh, yeah, yeah, yes quickly Mutula on this one mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, you should thank me because I've managed to extract information from them <laughs> by what thank I you, honorable boss. So, yes, I'm a, I, so I, maybe you should, I, citizens should hire me. <laughs> okay, but I think. Uh, you can become a co host, by the way, <laughs> so after I think, election. Uh, when we talk about, when I think uh, uh, the Secretary General has said you paid the year 2018. 20, the, which financial year? 2017, 2018. 2017, no. 18, 19. 2018, 2019. 2019, yeah. yes. The, the, year 20, 20, uh, 20, uh, the year 2020 and 2021 is the one you're saying you've not received funds. That can't be true no. because we are already in a new financial year which started in September, which is 2021, 2022. Yeah. That is the, the current financial year. So are you telling me that Treasury yeah. can actually omit 
disbursing funds for a previous financial year and move into a next financial you know, year? No. You usually, know. all accounts must be closed and by the end that, that, that of a financial year. Usually, mm -hmm. and you can speak to your county governors to, to tell you the experience of disbursement of money from Treasury. No, no, no. but it's not the you, same. Ca you, you, can, you can ask. So, no. So, no, no, but okay, let me tell you, no matter how inefficient government is, they release the money. One thing is they must close the, the account, account at the close of the, the financial year. year. And all Probably things was, uh -huh. must be paid. I know that I have been I have been an accounting officer and I know that as the financial year is ending, we are sitting there, we, nobody goes home. People work overnight because we must Probably close was. all accounts and pay all yeah. bills before we move into the next financial year. So this would be very strange. Yeah. And it I think very strange. you should Even write a letter to... Uh, Honorable Boss, let's, let's end this. We, we that is not have, we okay, have okay. We would not even have appropriated have, money yeah. in... in in, uh, I looked at the budget. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I have been privy to the current uh, discussions but, uh, on the current uh, budget policy statement and the current budget that is being prepared for the new financial year, which is the 2022-2023 financial year, yeah. which is ongoing. I have not seen any outstanding accounts. No. So, the so Sam, okay. financial uh, uh, So can you imagine we are preparing for a third year? Uh, let me help, let me help uh, Gladys no, no, here. Let's you can't help me example. on that. Let's conclude. No, a very, a very simple let's just example. Let's conclude this. I, I want to no, no, no. give a very simple let's example. Let's just open up, please. Yeah. Let's conclude do this. You know, this mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. that the money that is owed to ODM, for instance, from the quarter award, uh, mm -hmm. that was $4 billion, mm -hmm. now stands at $8 billion. Mm -hmm. So what is your explanation? Why haven't we been paid? The law is there. It says that the money needs to be paid. We have a court order that the money needs to be paid. Why is the money not paid? No, no, you see, the, the money no, that no, is why is the money not paid? No, no, that's money different. owed it's from our... Let, let, let me say that bills, bills Just hold on, honorable boss. Why, Let's why conclude this yeah. with this question. Can I answer yes. him? No, just hold on, honorable boss. Um, so you're saying you have not received money. When is the last time you received resources? From uh, I, I don't have the exact date. You are the accounting officer. I, uh, yeah, but I don't have the exact date. Which year? Totally. But I'm telling you, if I am in funds, I yes, would know. Which consult year? your phone. Boss. Consult your phone. Okay, I'll He's go. I'll go. I'll go the back here. No, no, no. I can go the back here and check my uh, personal statement. You don't know the date. He my doesn't know. Statement. But which month? Which year? Mm. I don't have the dates. Uh, which sub. year? I don't have the dates. Of you anything. would know which are you. Yeah. you last an accounting you, officer, which you date do you want? Um, when is the last That's what I'm time saying. you received resources? I am telling you I don't have the dates of the last time we received resources. And we are struggling much? as a party. 2022, no, 2021, no, no. Just, just, let, let, 2020. Let me, let me say this. Mm -hmm. Let me say this, Sam. Mm -hmm. The money that the public owes ODM right now, Treasury and the National Assembly, uh. owes ODM right now is 8 billion shillings. Which, which is Give fine. me this money and you are members of uh, parliament. Which is fine. Uh, that, that's your masking. Yeah. 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 Immediately, last... immediately you pay. Why don't you answer the question? Immediately the you last... pay, you can come and yes. get your, yes. your money. Now yes. I understand why you needed to make a confession, but when did you... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Leave Senator alone. I, I, I am not going to say anything else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, because, is, because, yeah. because the question I'm asking for the sake of accountability and Kenyans are watching, yeah. when is the last time you received, received money? money? I cannot tell you the last time I received Let money. Let me finish the question. Let me tell you the political party is fine. Fund. Just a minute. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be disbursed on a quarterly basis. Mm -hmm. That is the when ideal is the last situation. quarter you receive. But it is never disbursed on a when like even this quarter? financial quarter we haven't received our money. When is the last quarter you received? I, the last quarter. He that knows is, he has yeah. not received it, but that he doesn't know which quarter. Last quarter. The one that ended, this quarter we haven't received. The one that ended December 2021. That would be that. How much was it? I don't know. Sifuna has I don't come know. to national TV and okay. doesn't know. I let's don't know. listen, let's listen no, to Kalonzo. No, he Kalonzo. said he knows, he told us that Kalonzo last Masioka, money he received was 2018. Um, <laughs> this, listen. I've been tasked to read this statement and uh, do not crucify me alone if you have to. I'm very ably flanked by <laughs> two strong men. Uh, sister, mother, uh, is uh, is with us in this whole matter, uh, representing NAC Kenya. We come as one Kenya alliance. My brother Gideon Moy, my brother Cyrus Jerongo, our sister mother Karua of NAC Kenya. She is here spiritually with us, but she had to get over to Kirinyaga. From that statement, you can see there is nobody swallowing. <laughs> Ama kumeza oka atumezeki. We stress equality of partnership and we are open, therefore, we started this dialogue. And I'm quite sure it is very good for our country. Okay, that's Kalonzo Musioka saying quite a couple of things there. Don't crucify me. I've been asked to read this um, statement. But there's something else that um, has happened 
over time and as we wait for that senator mutula is there any difficulty with wiper or one kenya alliance joining hands with odm i've said i've said that uh, and and i can repeat what my party leader said in the past that he, he wants an honest dialogue and honest discussion but i know similarly that uh, my party leader has been very keen and I, and, and I maybe I should disclose also. So the the the, the, the assistance of HE, who is the handshake partner of Raila Odinga, to sort out this question that, of course, Sifuno doesn't want to answer now. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, um, something that happened in 2017 that is very fundamental to both our, ourselves as wiper fraternity and uh, and the party leader, was Moshimu Raila Odinga signed an, an agreement, which he agreed to support Kalonzo in 2022. We, we are not going to let go of that, just like that. He said so, uh, and therefore uh, uh, we, we have, our position is clear. We join Azimio when Raila supports Kalonzo. It's not negotiable, <laughs> that's it. If, if they don't agree, uh, uh, let everybody you know, do their thing. But we, we, we have insisted that you cannot do away with the sort of things that are pending. There are those things that are pending uh, between ourselves and ODM which have not been resolved. And since they have not been resolved, we want them resolved. And if they are not resolved, then we, have, we see no reason why we should, uh, for a third time, support Raila Molodinga when they don't want, on a strictly speaking, honest basis, sort out the issues that we think are fundamental to us. Because, and I, I said this to, 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 to Sifuna, and he thinks, by the way, it's a joke, uh, that some, somebody thought that, for example, the Magwani residents were being unnecessarily rebellious against government. Uh, for example, when the president went to water, he couldn't address people, he was heckled. They thought we were just being, why are you people becoming so fundamentalist about this ODM thing? Mm -hmm. It's because we believed, strictly speaking, in, in the dream of, uh, of NASA and supported NASA with one heart and on the basis of that understanding that uh, Raila Odinga has agreed, finally, that he will support Kalonzo Mchoka in 2022. How that changed is something that I don't know. Mm -hmm. It remains a fundamental issue to us. We have, stayed, we have told our party leader as much that we, the, the people who are the support base of WIPA, went and told our people this is what we are going to do. And I said this, and I told uh, to, to both the deputy party leader uh, of ODM, and I said if, if this... Uh, this uh, framework is going to change. Moshmua Raila Odinga will not send the three governors to go and plant as me in, for example, Ukambani against those agreements without explaining what happened. And I said, why doesn't he come and say, I, I agreed to support Kalonzo, but for now we have changed our minds mm -hmm. and do so so that we understand. But to use another shortcut where you have um, Chari Tingilu, uh, Governor Kibwana and Mutua, claiming Kalonzo is asking them for money, which they don't have, and I don't know where they're going to get it from. They are claiming poverty, <laughs> and they are, similarly, they are claiming that we are asking them for money. Why would you ask them for money when it's... it's really, you have just asked us for money. Here really, 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 alive. No. <laughs> No, no, no. And I think that's what he's pointing and saying that you yeah, don't have the he's, money. He's, no, he's lying. no, no, no. If, <laughs> if, 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 if they're saying they don't have money, <laughs> why would they then send the governors to say that Kalonzo is asking for money? So Nobody sends the governor. So, 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 so what I'm simply is saying... Is it a question of your party leader or yourselves feeling like you're being disrespected or is it a question of total disagreement on principle? Because you're also saying that if Raila it's, supports Kalonzo, you'll work with Azimio. If he doesn't, then... It's, 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 we are just on the table. There's a principle we call consensus. I died them. Uh, the teacher was the one who was teaching Sifuna, he knows. And then there's consideration. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is called Uberimai Fide. It's just good faith. On, in, on, in good faith, uh, we have supported Raila, Amolo, Odinga unreservedly. Not anymore. Not anymore. We, 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 listen, without resolving those. Li listen to Kalonzo Musioka on things he has said in 2017 and again in 2021. At 68, if I don't run for president, when will I run? And you guys are coming up. Look at you. you now look at me. At 63 years of age, why would I delay the decision to become president? Why? When you're a German. To you, Honorable Boss, but first, SG Sifuna, how important is 
the support of One Kenya Alliance or that of Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka in this election for, yeah, for you? I think I've said it before that in fact because uh, the elections is 50 plus 1, every person who you know essentially buys into your vision is welcome to join you. Mm -hmm. So it is an important support. What I want to uh, advise my brother here, uh, Mushimu Mutula Kilonzo, uh, I, I am sure we are all learning lessons from our past associations and one of the lessons that I hope you guys learn mm. is the importance of having structured negotiations which is something your party leader has insisted upon mm. that you don't have secret deals between Mutula Kilonzo and Sifuna mm -hmm. you have a deal between the political parties that, or the political entities that uh, you represent so that mm. if there is a structured negotiation where you have a meeting of uh, whichever organ is mandated under WIPA to have negotiations and ODM does the same it, is, it becomes easier mm -hmm. for you to be able to get out of the cul-de-sac that you got yourself in. <laughs> then number two, uh, it is also very disrespectful for you to say that uh, anyone would send uh, the three governors of Makueni to disparage or to, uh, as you call it, use a shortcut to implant Azimio, because these are leaders in their own right. And you have a constituency which everybody knows, and they have a constituency that uh, everybody acknowledges. They have been elected as uh, governors, uh, some of them were doing their, their second terms. They are leaders in their own right, and they also speak for the people of Ukambani. Mm -hmm. So if by uh, <coughs> design, or they, they, their desire is to associate with us, and personally, uh, uh, some, I consider these uh, uh, people our friends, because there were, there were times when ODM was under siege. Uh, say in Kibra in the by-election when you guys ran somebody against us or supported some other person, they came to help us out. Those are friends. So it is not that, uh, uh, you know, anybody has sent them. No, we, we are not interested in sending anybody to disparage anybody. Because as you know, we can do this disparaging ourselves. We have that capacity. Yeah. And lastly, this question of good faith. Uh, if you speak about good faith, and I like that uh, Gladys said, she said people are joining without conditions, you know. You cannot come on national television and claim that you are the people with a good faith. Then you come and tell us that if we don't support so and so, then you are not joining us. Mm -hmm. By the way, you guys have succeeded in creating this uh, impression that we are really desperately running after you. It is not a true <laughs> reflection of the facts. This a political association is based on your right of free choice and freedom of association. Okay. Nobody can force you to join an association that yeah. you do not want. All right. So please, if you have bought into the vision of a president and uh, Raila Odinga, you join us without conditions and have a conversation like you said. People can discuss things about how the government is going to look like, which just, positions just, are Just taken. to be sure. But for you to say outright, and, and, and from our perspective as ODM, uh -huh. the question of the presidential candidate for Azimio is settled. So if we are not going to have uh, consensus at idem on these two issues, then please. Uh, uh, and you said the running mate of uh, Raila Odinga for a credible run will have to come from Mount Kenya. We both agreed. She, in fact, he, he went first before me and he said, it just makes sense. The math is there. Okay. So what we're saying is, uh -huh. and I also said that it is a very personal decision for the candidate. I wouldn't want to speak for Raila Odinga on the question of all right. who is running Metis. All right, all right. Honorable Kalonzo Musioka will give a personal statement based on his personal experiences and beliefs as a leader. Uh, There's a, a press invite from the spokesperson of One Kenya Alliance, Fred Okango, saying that we once again assure One Kenya Alliance supporters and the general public that our resolve to unite and work together in securing the lives of Kenyans remains a priority. Honorable Boss, what do you think will be the Kalonzo factor in this election? Um, I think, uh, I mean, uh, Kalonzo has like one million votes, isn't it? I think that's his following, about a million votes. I thought votes. he had one. Hmm? I thought he has just one. No, no, I'm saying the, he's following. And if you look at historically the people who have voted for him, uh -huh. that is the number of votes that he brings to the table. So, of course, people win elections by even a smaller margin than that. So, yes, he is, Kalonzo is a factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any numbers that can be brought to the table will be brought to the table. And you must remember, for Raila Odinga, it's even more serious. McWhenny voted 91, 91%. 93. 93%, you see? For, for, and then in, uh, in his own backyard, mm -hmm. they voted 89% for him. Mm -hmm. So actually, Kalonzo does bring a significant number of block votes to Raila Odinga if, or to anyone else he... If he, he doesn't back, agree yeah, so he with Azimio and runs alone, what does that do to the election, in your view? Uh, I mean, it means people will win by smaller margins. Mm. There'll yeah. still be a winner. I yeah, there'll still be a winner. Still be a winner. There'll, there'll still be a winner of okay. 50 plus one, yes. So, Senator Motula, But it will be a waste of his votes. You know, wow. because he, would st he wouldn't <laughs> win the presidential election, but he will have taken away some votes. And remember, uh -huh. when he is, uh, I mean, if he, if he managed to deliver the one million uh, votes 
in, uh, in 2017, the problem is if he goes it alone, chances are it can reduce by a significant number. Correct. Maybe 600,000. If you go by the math, mm -hmm. he well, well, but, might but, end up getting 600,000 because there'll be a, number, a significant number of his own followers and his own voters who, and supporters who will say, okay, we don't want to waste our vote. Mm -hmm. So they'll move their vote elsewhere. So okay. there's a lot of dynamics in this. But I, I just want to finalize on this issue of the, the funds. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it has been confirmed that some money has been paid to to Wiper, mm -hmm. and that and so he has you've confirmed the exact figure you've paid them and the exact figure you had agreed at, and then suddenly you say again you're not sure when you last received funds. That can't be true. You def as an accounting officer, you definitely have the budget in your head. Mm. I mean, I've been an accounting uh, officer. I am a lawyer, I'm not uh, an yes. accountant. Yes, no, you're an accounting officer, but <laughs> I, I can't so, so let us confirm that on, on national television <laughs> right. they are saying that the last amount they received was the 2018-2019 budget. So you are actually saying that the treasury has not this disbursed 2019-2020 financial year. They have not disbursed 2020 and 2021 financial year. And now we are already discussing the 2022 oh, I, I thought it was just a So out. let's close that because I want that to go on record. Okay. Because you it know, shall, it shall not, be raised it, at another time. TV it, is, it is already on record. It's not, uh, it's not the answer of the country. <laughs> it's just a show, Gladys. Relax. No, yes, it's I not do. as if uh, anybody is going to say, oh, there's something that was said on Citizen. We are going to present no, it. No, no, but you know, that's why we are playing. We like, we no, no, no. Honorable boss, I mean, honorable boss, we, we, we need to we'll we, play yours one next time. We need to close this because you also said that uh, the you last time they received billion resources was the last <laughs> quarter <laughs> of last year. So yes. something going on there. But finally, Senator Mutula, there has been accusation, I think, by Governor Ngilu saying that uh, some of you, you know, you're not as, giving me a chance. I a, 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 a so hard on where Kalonzo Musioka goes. Mm because of your personal interests, because you still secure your seat, but leave Kalonzo Musiko with nothing. How true is that? The, the, she was not referring to me. Because uh, actually, <laughs> she was. I was there. She, she, no, she was not, and she qualified. She said, no, it's not about uh, Mutula. It's not about me. And, and, and Sam, you're being unfair. They've I, had a show. When it came to my turn, you gave me a second. Just hold on. We uh, moved uh, on. Yeah, Let's yeah. just hear from Senator. Yeah, yeah. You have the final one. Uh, yeah, yeah, Malimu is supposed to be a little more generous. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm simply saying, uh -huh that this is part of a negotiation. Mm -hmm. And it's not like I sat on the table. And it's, it's, a, it's unfortunate that my, my good friend would besmirch an agreement between his party leader and my party leader. And, and, to, and to, even suggest, to mm -hmm. even suggest that it was not brought in the open, it was a secret document, uh, uh, is, is, is belittling uh, uh, what would, I would consider a very sacred document between two very mm -hmm. senior political leaders in the country. Uh, number three, to say that um, the people who support Kalonzo, it's not just about Mutula. I'm just the one person. Mm -hmm. If I'm not elected today in Makweni, another person will be elected in Makweni. So it's not about me. And if I'm not elected today, mm -hmm. it's not like I will not find something to do. Right. But we have a, a support base that has legitimate expectations. Mm -hmm. And every time we go to them, we have to balance their interests against other interests. And therefore, what I'm simply saying, is that our interests have not been served and therefore by the time I go back, I might even lose the seat myself. There's a possibility that I will go there mm -hmm. with some of the matrices that are being proposed and even lose the seat because I am carrying my own personal aspirations as opposed to the aspirations of the people of Makwani. The people of Makwani, and I want to, this as the last statement. Right. There is a single reason Ukambani uh, residents and voters refused to vote for Jubilee. It's because they thought mm -hmm. in 2007 that their party leader was treated unfairly in the PNU coalition. Now they think that their party leader has been treated unfairly mm -hmm. in NASA. It's, a, it's a, a legitimate thing. And part of the vo a lot of the voters who come from my side of town, for, and I call it my neck of the woods, operate on something called absolute trust, Uberi my fidei. They don't want anything, but they just want to feel dignified and okay. they want to feel treated fairly. And every time Sifuna speaks, he loses 10 votes for his party leader. Every time he's on national television, 100 votes disappear. Because it's instead of being nice and making correct confessions... Ha has he lost as much this morning? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> he's, he's messed you, you even have, worse than you, he should you, have. You, you, you have the right to uh, take positions to... Uh, I want us to take a look at the, the feedback. For purposes of 
out of time. It's now. I am allowed to do stage. that. I am not the SG of Waipa. I am not here to play nice. Okay. I am here to defend my political party. So yeah. if that offends you, that is your problem. No, it does not offend yeah. me. So no, not, uh, that is really. Look, are, look at me. Politics is not. Uh, look at me. Uh, do I look offended? Sunday, Nini, we can hold hands and see. <laughs> elections, but as of now, mm -hmm. allow me to be the SG of ODM. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Limo, I'm so sorry that um, I think they sh you should have sat with one of them. Maybe yeah. as it would have been better. I'm waiting for so the you feedback. Decided but you're enjoying their <laughs> But you're, remember, you're my co-host. Um, your closing remarks as we wait for the feedback. No, my closing remarks is I want to actually uh, speak to what uh, Sifuna said. Mm -hmm. He said that uh, the deputy president is on a school trip. I think that is offensive. It is not true. He's a presidential front runner. Hence the reason why he has gone to the U.S. Mm -hmm. His uh, economic model is shared by the United States. He's having meetings with congressmen, senators, and other development partners to be able to articulate his... Uh, his foreign policy, so it is not a joke. Indeed, and we have a tweet here that Dr. Ilem Ruto, Mama Rachel Ruto, and Honorable Musala Mudavadi, among the others, hosted by Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts in Omaha. Dr. Ruto advanced the interest of Kenyan farmers, urging Governor Ricketts to tap into the Kenyan market to meet Nebraska's demands for quality coffee and tea. That's from so uh, it's a visionary person. trip. It is not oh, a the campaign team. Let's take a look it's, at this. It's uh, Nebraska. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Elvolating. The SG ODM is applying the tact that, quote, who saw when you gave me your money <laughs> in the money issue? Kenyans haven't forgotten the pay bill number the then NASA gave to Kenyans for fundraising. Um, S. Breza, Azimio was on the right track until they started mixing with One Kenya Alliance. Raila does not need Kalonzo. Let Kalonzo go it alone. He is too demanding of the past. Masika Hoseville, I guess. Waipa Party, ANC and Fort Kenya leaders wasted a lot of time in boardrooms and hotels, threatening to run for presidency, <laughs> only to come at the 11th hour to disrupt other political entities like ODM, Jubilee, and UDA. They should stop that game of discord immediately. Okelo okay, Molimu, in pastoral societies, leadership of cattle dips depends on the number of cattle one has. It's almost impossible for a man with only one or two cows to be a chairperson or vice chairperson. ANC and Fort Kenya should know. Uh, Amaganga Mustaf, uncontrollable earthquake is disorganizing Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. They rushed to decide a complex issue that needed consultations. It now appears a brokerage that jumped on board without numbers. Emergency in politics is a road to regrets. Gishinga Muita, if Kalonzo joins Azimio, his power to convince his people will not be as before. He will have a hard time to convince them. Uh, Chalo Wadrosi, Kalonzo Musioka is playing political game he played in 2007. He is being used by Ruto to spoil Ukambani votes for Raila by dividing votes. Is that true? He wants to reach the ballot. That's what Moses Kuria is up to. And then Kelvin Kimutai, you said that Kalonzo should not let go of the Azimio presidential ticket because in case Raila wins, he will retain the presidential seat for 10 years. By that time, Kalonzo will be them there. <laughs> wow. So much views. Senator Mutula Kilonza Jr., um, SG Edwin Sifuna, and uh, Gladys Boss from Wasingishu, thank you all for making time for us. I hope we can do this again. Can we? Anytime, bro. We can, right? It's been a very useful we, session. We, we need a confession box. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sam Gitukus. See you some other time. Bye for now. <laughs>